Hey, so, to properly represent an electrical circuit, rather than drawing, which is all in all quite long, we are going to use the standardized diagram. Standardized, that is to say that it is an international standard which imposes to respect, for the battery for example, this diagram. That would be a drawing. And here is the diagram. The wires will be straight lines. The switches. The lamp etc. So, we are going to practice schematizing some circuits. Here, we ask to check that there is no false contact using the switch. And we are offered to schematize. So, the battery dot we will start with the generator. The positive terminal here is at the top of the diagram. We will therefore choose between these two. We will choose this one since the positive terminal is at the top. The switch that is there, we find it here, that's it. The lamp, we cannot go wrong. And we will move on to the following diagram. Here, an electric motor running. Here is the motor. The switch. And, similarly, the battery is the one with the positive terminal at the top, i.e. the long line. Here, the battery has been reversed. The positive is at the bottom. We will therefore choose this one with the positive at the bottom. And the switch. The lamp that we recognize. Here we have a diode. The diode is symbolized as well. The other, with the two arrows, is a luminescent diode that will light up. However, this one does not light up. Finally, here we have resistor. The dipole that is there is called a resistor. The switch. The battery with the positive. So that would be this one. And finally the lamp. You can't go wrong dot it's not very hard. You see the diagram, when you have a loop, a single loop, like that, it looks like a rectangle. The wires form a rectangle. That's it for this video. Thank you.